Okay, so just a quick little one on CryptoKit. Uh, so CryptoKit, it can be single or bilateral. So CryptoKit, crypt means hidden. OKIT is testicle. So it literally means a hidden testicle. So it can be one or it can be two. Okay, and they can usually hide either in the inguinal gland or in the abdomen. Okay, so in the inguinal gland, very still straightforward. We're just going to make a separate incision, remove it. That's not a problem. In the abdomen, different story. We're going to go and look for it. Yeah, and that's where it gets tricky. Um, so uh, undescended testicles are more prone to develop into a tumor, which is why we want to remove them. Okay, because the reason why testicles are outside the body is because they actually need a cooler temperature to have spermatogenesis to create sperm. If they're kept inside, not only do they not have the, um, the, the physiological temperature to do what they're supposed to do, they're also more prone to develop into a tumor. They can have um, uh, behavioral problems with it being inside as well. Exactly, because it well could be chucking out much more. Well, if they're a tumour, they can certainly be excreting more estrogen or testosterone or both that can certainly cause behaviour issues. Yeah. So just to give us a bit of an anatomy, uh, so that's a picture of a little doggy backside over here. So usually testicles are over here, but they can be anywhere along here. Okay. So inguinal canal is still pretty much on the surface, but once it goes to the abdomen, it's inside there. Uh, Anatomy-wise, embryology-wise, this is where it usually is, and it's usually dropped down. So the problem is that it didn't drop down. That's why it's retained up there. That's why it's the word retain rather than movement. It's just simply not dropped down. So that's what it can look like. Okay, uh, so you can see the right testicle over here. And there's only one left testicle in the scrotum. So this one is what we call inguinal uh, cryptocket. So it's still on the surface, fairly straightforward. Just do one incision here, remove this one, another incision here, remove that one. So fairly straightforward. So this type is not that complicated. It is when uh, it actually goes into uh, the abdomen. So this one was uh, slightly interesting whereby you can see that the vet okay, has removed one testicle here. Thought another testicle was here, made the incision, couldn't find it. And in the end, went for a longer incision to look for the other one inside there. It can be quite easily mistaken because all you're seeing is a little bump on the surface. And sometimes it can be easily mistaken inguinal fat for testicle because put it this way, you have two options as a vet. If I, f I know there's a testicle inside there because monochid is very, very rare. If you find one, monochid means the dog is just born with one testicle, very, very rare. Usually it's cryptochid, one outside, one inside somewhere. If I were to feel a little bump over here, am I brave enough to say that no, there's no testicle and go straight into the abdomen? Of course not. Because if the testicle is here and I went inside here, I'll be causing the dog more damage. No. Compared to, let's just check out this little bump here. Make sure it's not testicle. Because if it is, amazing, job done. If it's not, this incision is less harmful than this inc incision that is not needed. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, so it's not uncommon for this to happen. How often do you get the crypto orchid? Crypto orchid. So, uh, good question. It, uh, it really, really, so I have done possibly about 15. So we see it occasionally, and usually that's why when their puppies are going for the puppy check, we will always be checking is there two descended testicles. And you see on the clinical notes, we'll put two descended testicles, or testicles not yet descended, check in nine months of age. Mm -hmm. Check in nine months. Yeah. yeah, so often enough for us to recognize it, uh, but if you're telling me, you, you, you won't see it every week, put it this way. Okay, so I've done about 15. And uh, some of them were just in the inguinal, and some of them were definitely inside here. And I still remember a box of bilateral cryptocket inside here. Okay, and that was the one whereby, you know, initially before we did chemo surgery, we were thinking, okay, let's go on a fishing trip. How long is this, how long is this gonna take? We set off like two hours just in case you got a rubbish looking for time. Because usually they're much, much smaller. And um, amazingly, once we did a midline over here, it was just on the surface. So, like, that's easy. <laughs> So that was very, very, uh, that was straightforward, but certainly sometimes we have really look inside there, look for the inguinal canal and trace back from, from the testicular scrotum to the inguinal canal all the way back. Okay, so using keyhole. So this is quite an interesting method which we use quite often. So just to give you a bit of orientation, um, this is the penis, back legs, okay, and the body is going that direction. Okay, so using a keyhole, what we've done is that we've popped the little, uh, um, camera port inside there, so there's a camera looking inside there, and you can see exactly where the testicle is. You can use that little bit to probe the surface over here to show where it is. Then you can make an incision 
and we can put little forceps inside over the top of the testicles and pull it out and remove it like this. So this is what I mean by using keyhole assisted to do a crypt pocket. Instead of opening all the way to find the Tesco, we can actually just put a killer camera inside, locate exactly where it is. And make the incision over the top of it, go down, pick it up, then tie it off and castrate the dog. Does it make sense? Yeah. So just to give you an idea, but that's what it looks inside there. Okay, so there is a testicle over here. And because we can actually see it, we can locate it. Okay, summary. The proscopy refers to entering the abdomen using keyhole method or minimally invasive surgery. Advantages include superior visualization and lighting, fast recovery time, and improved pet owner satisfaction. Disadvantages does include, uh, include um, increased cost and expertise, the lack of feel and limited procedures. There are many, many indications for minimally invasive surgery. Um, and when we do lap space, usually it's overectomy, not over hysterectomy, unless the uterus uh, looks interesting. Any questions?